it's a bear. Good morning. Hey, what's up? This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Lauderdale by the Sea. A little bit of uh, storm clouds out there and quite, quite windy. Uh, not a great day for uh, surfing or swimming, really, unless you like uh, choppy waters. And that's kind of what we're looking at here as far as our economy goes. Choppy waters, stormy uh, stormy skies. And, uh, uh, and there are blue skies behind that as well. So let's not get negative about everything. And besides, look at this. What a beautiful place. Place we live in here in Lauderdale by the sea or if you're listening to me and you're a customer of mine uh, South Florida what a great place to be well let's move along to the markets here and uh, talk about uh, the thumbnail here uh, Bitcoin trouble I mean Bitcoin troubles gold and silver doubles and uh, I'm going to discuss here shortly why uh, the troubles that I see and the problems that I see with Bitcoin, and this is not a Bitcoin versus gold and silver uh, deal. So before anyone makes any comments below, uh, hear me out here. Uh, I'm just going to point out some issues that Bitcoin has, uh, and we're going to talk about another gentleman that wrote a great article, uh, something I'm not good at doing is writing articles, but I can talk about them. And uh, we're going to talk about his article, uh, uh, that Bitcoin troubles, and uh, uh, I'm also going to give you my opinion on gold silver and uh, when I say gold and silver doubles uh, absolutely that's gonna absolutely happen without a doubt we're gonna see a $50 silver price uh, and higher and we're gonna see a gold price that's probably going to be closer to a can to 3500 bucks or higher at some point uh, I'm a bit conservative on this there's people that are talking about $5,000 gold and uh, silver way higher than that too and from their lips to somebody's ears <laughs> that can make that happen I'm all for that uh, but uh, let's get into spot prices this morning. I'm going to kind of update this here and because I didn't update it for the last few minutes and do a quickie refresh on that screen. Uh, this is a static screen. Looks like it's down just a tad in gold. Uh, gold traded overnight at uh, a, in between 1863.97 after the New York close yesterday, uh, and as high as 1875 overnight. It was actually at this 1875 earlier this morning. So it looks like New York is uh, kind of leading the way down a little bit today, and the coin appears to be right in this manner. Uh, bear market. Let's see how it closes at the end of the day, though. And uh, we're not worried about down prices because it provides provides us the opportunity to do what by the friggin dips uh, 20, and, and silver looks like it's kind of got whacked just a tiny bit as well but it was making some pretty fast moves I like slow moves and uh, when I do see big moves and fast moves like this I like to see these pullbacks it's very healthy to see these pullbacks now you don't want to see it pull back to, to to less than what it started at but uh, when you do see big climbs in precious metals it, you, you like these little pullbacks and then again it's very very healthy it's not a continuous rise upwards uh, which scares me and then whenever you see a continuous rise upwards in precious metals um, <clears throat> for, for especially at the uh, continuation that you see in a lot of other bubble type markets uh, that just continue to go up and up and up yeah, at some point you got to get worried uh, but we're not even close to that point we're not even close to that point uh, platinum looks like it's down about 26 bucks too and if I had looked a little bit earlier platinum was down before gold and silver were so I'm not sure what that meant or if that forecast anything but most likely not uh, but hell this is again provides you a good opportunity if you're a little concerned oh my gosh uh, gold's up at 1875 and silver's gonna make that $29 mark today or tomorrow uh, it did not so it does provide you a great opportunity to, to do what and what am I talking about all the time a great opportunity to uh, oh not get the best deal well yeah I get a best deal but also uh, oh my gosh there is my meme buy the friggin dips so there you go BTFD uh, I had to go searching around for that sorry about that uh, so a lower gold price a lower silver price is nothing to be uh, afraid of and actually it's a really good thing uh, when you do see these dips because it provides you the opportunity to buy the friggin dip and it also uh, it's healthy uh, let's move into uh, today's uh, zero hedge and uh, uh, see what kind of articles are out there a few things uh, too much crypto not enough stuff um, that was kind of an interesting uh, uh, article here that's talking about uh, uh, it's a long uh, uh, article about cryptocurrencies and uh, this gentleman's opinion. This is on ZH. I'm not going to read this because there's another one I want to take a look at here. Uh, but I, I did, I'm not going to read this here, but I did read this. Very, very interesting. It's by uh, Portfolio Armor. It's on ZH. Uh, it's called Too Much Crypto, 
not enough stuff. Uh, and they talk about uh, the commodities bull market that uh, we've been talking about for some time on these videos. Uh, actually, over the last few months that I really started to think about uh, a big commodities bull market besides gold, silver, and platinum. I'm thinking about uh, all the other metals and all the uh, 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 you know oil and everything else. Uh, copper, especially, I, I think we're going to see a big rise in these metals. Uh, apparently, China is trying to uh, st stomp down this... Uh, uh, climb in the or the rise in the price of these commodities because uh, that's going to add a big inflation factor which they don't want to see and I think a lot of countries don't want to see that as well and you know not not uh, including our uh, Federal Reserve um, anyway good article highly recommend you read it and uh, you probably already have if you've been watching my videos here you've probably been picking out these articles uh, gold fix is uh, has broken out uh, by Vince uh, Lancey uh, and basically, uh, here's some interesting things. I'm going to skip over here. Uh, he writes some pretty cool stuff. Um, but down here, for you technical guys, uh, here's a technical excerpt. And I'm not a big technical guy. To, to me, uh, uh, charts and stuff are like uh, driving a car using the rear, rear view mirror. You know, uh, you really can't see where you're going, but you're kind of using the rear view mirror to see where you've been to determine where you might go. Uh, I know that's a, a simple a simple way of looking at it, but for you, for you tech guys out here, uh, he provides this nice little uh, part in his article. Look for possible exhaustion on the way up to 1869, 1873 area. Sell into the 1875. If we break above here or even above 1876 and back below, look for pressure to come in. Uh, that's the upside, uh, and it looks like we kind of hit that a little bit today. And because what are we looking at right here? Um, you know, down a couple bucks. Uh, the high side was 1875, then it bounced off there uh, a little bit uh, downwards. And uh, let's see, downside, get short below 1856. If we break below 1844 and back above, look for short covering to come in. Buy against 1834. Uh, anyways, you can read this again on uh, the uh, Zero Hedge uh, Gold Fix. The gold has broken out for now. Um, now I'm not going to read it for you because I want you to learn this stuff for yourself, and I don't want to just cherry pick things because then you're not going to really get the whole. Well, anyway, better for you to read these. I just want to point them out to you in case you haven't seen them yet. Uh, going to kind of go through the uh, headlines here. Uh, Blaine, I like this guy. I like reading his stuff. Uh, buy copper, sell America, and. Uh, <clears throat> uh, it, Again, I don't, I, I don't want to go into the articles, but I like uh, Bill Blaine via uh, Morning Porridge, another good article that I kind of suggest that you uh, read. And uh, he gets into the political aspect as well, uh, which is kind of cool, because anyone that doesn't think politics doesn't play a big part in economics uh, pure, uh, has not been watching for quite some time or doesn't pay attention. Uh, single family housing starts. Uh, well, anyway, not too much here. Uh, Bitcoin versus gold. This is the article I actually want to talk about. And uh, I love this guy. He writes some great articles. And this is by Gold Switzerland, Matthew uh, uh, Pippenberg, I believe it is. Uh, he writes exactly what I think in my head and what I talk about, except he writes so much better. <laughs> so uh, I like reading his stuff. Uh, definitely do a search under Bitcoin versus gold, uh, a tired debate. And again, it's done by Matthew uh, uh, Pippenberg. I hope I'm pronouncing his name uh, right. And there's some really great article and this is uh, what I was talking about cryptocurrencies he's he's talking about the same thing I'm I've been uh, talking about some some time almost the same points that we've been discussing when we talk about crypto and gold it's apples and oranges it, you know it, it, it's not one against the other I don't know where somebody pitted the gold guys against the silver you know the gold guys against the uh, 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 crypto guys and the crypto guys against the gold. I don't know where that came from. Uh, I just think that uh, it's kind of silly because, again, totally two different things, apples and oranges. Uh, cryptos are kind of about getting rich quick. It's really not money. It's really not well, anyways, great article. Highly recommend uh, recommend you uh, read it. And I'm going to go over a couple points that he talks about. Uh, bias versus logic. We'll skip over that one again. I want you to read this if you get a chance. Apples to oranges. Uh, what what I just said. And uh, in many ways, however, we're not concerned with Bitcoin versus the gold debate for the simple reason that we see them as entirely separate investment classes. Uh, and this is real important for a lot of you folks, because I hear some folks talking about wanting to get out of gold and silver and buy bitcoins. Um, and again, they're two totally different, separate things. As I said, apples, oranges. This is, this is exactly what uh, uh, Matthew points out right here. Sorry, I had to go back and look at his first name. Uh, that is a comparison of apples to oranges, not orange to say tangerines. At the simplest level, bitcoin is a speculation investment. Gold is a preservation asset. And again, that is... 
I have it. This guy is like my doppelganger when it comes to uh, uh, the way I view Bitcoin and the way I view precious metals and what we have been exactly talking about for the last year. Um, again, he writes it so nicely. This is why I want you to read his article here. At the simplest level, and again, gold is a preservation asset, and thus we have no long-term interest as opposed to fear of entering this debate nor in championing, championing precious metals by denigrating cryptos in general, or Bitcoin in particular. In short, one doesn't need to attack Bitcoin to make a case for gold. Absolutely true. Gold's case stands entirely and logically by itself. At the same time, and regardless of one's views or biases on gold, uh, be they gold owners or stock pickers, should not simply ignore the growing and undeniable concerns rising around the Bitcoin issue, even if these critiques come today from a precious metals enterprise. In short, despite the inevitable tax I can't even receive from the Bitcoin camp, I see objective risk in this otherwise bubbling and much-loved digital coin. Is Bitcoin a bubble? Yes. In a world of debt, 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 debt-driven bubbles, uh, whether stocks uh, with cape ratios of 30 to, uh, 30 to uh, 2, uh, sovereign bonds offering negative yields, uh, s- such and such, it is no surprise nor effort for me to add the word Bitcoin to the list of current bubbles. And I agree with that 100%. It is a big bubble. The exuberance of the uh, uh, Bitcoin buyers out there. Um, <clears throat> but let's get it again. I digress there. Uh, Bitcoin is this time different. Uh, currency is it a store of value. Uh, as I said, I highly recommend you go and read this article uh, if you have any uh, doubts uh, or you're thinking about selling your gold and silver and getting into Bitcoins. Don't do it. Uh, hang on to your metals. Trust me on this. Uh, should you go out and buy Bitcoin or, or, or other cryptos? Yeah, why not? This is a capitalistic society and, and uh, you should have, you know, I'm, I'm all for it. If you can go and buy cryptos and make yourself the next millionaire, I'm all for that. But of course, I'm going to tell you to preserve most of that by buying gold and silver. So <laughs> that would be my caveat. Uh, currency store of value. Even the most faithful devotees of Bitcoin cannot deny that currency or store of value with price moves of 20% in a single trading is hardly finding or justifying its uh, uh, way to such designations. As for currency status, not even Bitcoin conferences will take it as a payment, for its radical price moves can potentially wipe out or grow their profit margins overnight. Others, of course, will say Bitcoin's time will come after a gradual adoption. And what about Tesla? You can buy that with Bitcoin. Well, obviously you can't. As you know, Tesla this week, and then he clearly points this out, uh, pretty much said uh, he's done with that. And, you know, brings up another point uh, that I talked about in uh, yesterday's video is, uh, you know, when investment, uh, when, when, when an icon or, or someone that is a, uh, a very famous or popular person can come out and say something about a, an asset and cause that asset to, to decline or rise massively. Uh, I don't trust that asset, to be honest with you. I mean, that's, I mean, think about it. Elon Musk comment in his uh, Saturday Night Live skit uh, is is what drove down some of these cryptos. Really? Uh, but anyway, so again, I digress. Uh, old tricks, new uh, um, old tricks, new widget. And I like this part right here. I'm not going to read the uh, the whole thing up here, but uh, actually, let's read it. There's also no doubt that great fortunes have and can be made with such investments. I can't count how many times I traded Tesla long and short with a smile. But let us recognize that Musk's funding secret tweets in 2008 uh, amounted to fraud. As of this writing, and Tesla can't be bought with Bitcoin despite Elon's expectations to attempt to greenwash his cryptos. Otherwise, electricity sucking mining operations is environmentally healthy. Uh, but lies and front runs and, and price fixing tricks from CEOs like Musk are forgiven, at least for now. And this is what I was talking about. How can these guys, they, it's like a pump. Uh, Tesla stock and BTC valuations prove their rightness based on price, not truth, value, or common sense. Needless to say, no asset discussion of Bitcoin is free of its short but sordid history of pump and dump, spoofing, wash trading, and other front-running schemes and headlines. Think BitMax, in which the big money pretends a philosophical interest in Bitcoin merely to crush the little money when the time is right to buy and sell. And this is what I've been talking about for quite some time. Bitcoin and all those things are probably really a lot of fun, and there was a lot of money to be made, especially when the whales jumped in. But when the whales are in there, uh, you probably should be jumping out and taking their money with you instead of the opposite way around. And again, that's my opinion if you're going to play the crypto markets. 
Uh, on other quick but relevant point is this, where does Bitcoin come from? It's, and I've t discussed this many times, how can an asset get so big when it has such a sketchy history, where it came from, who created it, and he points this out as well. I pointed this out many times. I uh, did a mystery man named Nak Nakamoto upload some code and then vanish in a thin air with no one asking why? Who truly holds the largest controlling share of Bitcoin? Where's the head office staff and the ownership ledger of this otherwise totally decentralized $2 trillion asset? I have no idea. I'm just saying. Wow. Uh, it's like I'm on the same exact wavelength. Or we're on the same exact wavelength right here as this guy. I am. Uh, um, Matthew, I appreciate to look at his name again. Sorry, my memory's going. Uh, the asset question. Uh, there's other some really good things in here. I think some of you folks should uh, uh, read. Different uses, different views. Uh, is Bitcoin going to be considered money one day? I don't think so. Uh, again, highly recommend you read this. Great job, Matthew uh, uh, Pipenberg. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> thank you for kind of echoing exactly what I'm thinking or. Or maybe I'm echoing what you're saying. So uh, needless to say, I'm on the exact same page as this gentleman. Uh, like I said, definitely read this, folks. Uh, GATA.org, not too much to talk about there. And as I said, if you're new listening to the show, uh, this has to be on your bookmark bar. You are not a great stacker unless you have GATA.org on your bookmarks bar and you're reading it at least once a week because you need to know how the game is played. You need to know how the game is man manipulated, who the players are. And there's one thing that GATA.org does very well is they point those out. They have great experts, not some guy living in his mother's basement, but these guys are all college educated uh, and know these gold and silver markets very well. Uh, so definitely read this once a week. Uh, and uh, again, they'll explain who the players are, how these markets are manipulated, and they are manipulated. All markets are manipulated. Uh, stock markets, bond markets, uh, um, you know, every a lot of things in our life are manipulated, even down to some people say elections even. So uh, just get over it. Everything in life is, is manipulated, some, manipulated to some point. Uh, and what I, again, why I recommend you always read this site is because they will tell you how the game is rigged and who manipulates it. And I'm starting to sound like a broken record. And some people are going to say, well, why would you want to play in a market that's rigged? Well, of course the game is rigged, but don't let that stop you. If you don't play, you can't win. I've always loved this saying, and it's very, very true, uh, whether it comes to gold, silver, platinum, uh, stock markets, equity markets, crypto markets. Of course the games are rigged, uh, but if you don't play, you can't win. And the nice thing about GATA.org is they show you how they're rigged, and they make it much easier for you to win. Definitely, you need to be reading this. Uh, as far as articles on here, not too much that we haven't talked about. They haven't uploaded uh, too many new articles on here. But again, uh, world's top copper region, I think copper is going to uh, uh, start rising in price as well. And we'll probably end up with a copper shortage out there, maybe, who knows. Uh, central bankers see got risky assets for reserves and yield, and gold is on their list. Uh, so any folks that think uh, that uh, gold is an archaic uh, form of money, and it is. It's been around for 5,000 years. The track record is impeccable. Uh, but if anyone uh, thinks that gold is going to go away because it's old-fashioned, nobody wants it, nobody uses it, the new modern is going to be, the new modern thing is going to be electronic cryptocurrencies. Uh, and I do see cryptocurrencies coming, but I see the governments and, and, and uh uh, uh, bankers hate competition. So I'm, you're never going to see, in my opinion, uh, Bitcoin used as money. You're not, it, it, you know, again, governments and, and, and federal bankers, you know, the Fed hates competition. They're not going to allow uh, any other crypto except their own to become currency. And at that point, they're going to have to create a stable currency, one that doesn't move around all the time. Uh, that would more fit their their thing, kind of what China's doing right now. And to me, this moves us into a cashless society, which is extremely dangerous. Uh, don't let it happen, folks. You don't want to go into a cashless society. It's a bad thing. Trust me on this. Uh, but no less, uh, again, I digress here. And why do central banks want to uh, put us into their crypto, their fixed cryptocurrencies? Well, first off, they can control us better. Second, they can tax us better. Third, they can see where we spend all our money. If you thought you had no privacy now, wait till you get into a cashless society. You will have zero zip 
privacy, none whatsoever, and they'll have the ability to tax you instantly anytime they want, or just take your money away from you. Again, that's my opinion. This is where cryptos are headed. Uh, they're going to make cryptos either illegal or they're going to subjugate them to uh, heavy regulation. Then they're going to roll out their own cryptos because the end goal is a cashless society. Uh, as I said, that's just my opinion. Wow, kind of digress there a little bit. Um, but as I said, uh, God, I've been saying, as I said too many times here, my apology. Uh, of course, the game is rigged. Don't let that stop you. If you don't play, you can't win. And that applies to everything. Well, yesterday's video was about trade overpriced uh, eagles as soon as possible. It really was just a clarification on my video on Friday, which got a ton of views. Uh, however, a lot of people misconstrued me saying trade your overpriced eagles for sell your overpriced eagles. And I never said sell them. I said just trade them because at yesterday when I did the math, you could take... Uh, what was it? Uh, you could take 100 silver eagles with me and trade them to me for 107, roughly about 107 or 108 ounces of uh, generic silver. Uh, so uh, um, I would sell you, give you 108 generic silvers for 100 of your silver eagles. And I was trying to explain to people how that is way better as a stacker. You put more silver in your pile rather than more premium. You don't want premium. You want more silver. So it's a really brilliant, smart move, but you got to have enough uh, silver eagles to make that happen. Uh, however, uh, like I said, that was yesterday's video, and some people still misconstrued that I was trying to tell them to, look, no, not, not time for me to part from my eagles eight more years. Uh, Nuevo Mexico, I really appreciate you watching, but as I mentioned, I wasn't trying to sell you, tell you to sell your silver. Um, I want you to hold your silver. Eight years, that's great, man. You're a long-term holder. But what I was trying to explain to you is, again, increase the amount of ounces you have, not the amount of product you have that has high premiums. If you can turn those high premiums into more physical ounces, you're going to be a much bigger winner in eight years. Trust me on this. Um, uh, Rick Rayborn says, should I get silver and gold bars instead of eagles? And uh, uh, yeah, I think so, only because of the prices. You know, if, if you can buy eagles for the same price, I mean, if you can buy eagles for a, a less than uh, $5 an ounce or, 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 or something, then sure. But I don't think you can unless you kind of get lucky or somebody doesn't know what they're selling. Uh, but yeah, yeah, bars are a much better deal right now. I don't see a big advantage other unless you live in a sales tax area that prevents you from uh, uh, buying bars uh, like Florida if you're going to spend less than 500 bucks. Uh, hi, Savoy Truffle. How you doing? Jan, USA, Florida. Just saw a news flash. Switzerland canceled all their note and uh, coin currency. I have not heard that. Uh, I'll read more into that, but thanks for watching. Uh, again, I'd like to thank all you folks here, over here, that uh, uh, commented here. I get so many comments, folks. I can't answer everyone like I used to, but I want to thank every one of you for your great comments here and uh, uh, and also for watching. And as I said, if you remember, please hit that like button. It kind of helps me out. It spreads my message locally. I am here to sell, buy and sell stuff, uh, as, as, as well as educate you. Uh, so uh, it helps me with my business. So please help me with my business. <laughs> so... Uh, so, 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 I'm going to start saying so all the time now. So, so uh, let's move along to the uh, next thing. And again, as I said, hit that uh, uh, like button if you would. And uh, the uh, subscribe button would be nice as well. Uh, best deal of the day. Best deal of the day. And I think this is nationwide. You know, I hear some guys saying, well, my local coin store has uh, uh, got these and or doesn't carry this product or doesn't have this product. Um I don't know what to tell you on that. You might want to find a different local dealer or move along to some other place. But again, as I've always said, I'm all about keeping the money local. But best deals out there, I'm going to start just kind of pointing out what the best deals are. The best deals in this pile of gold coins that you see right here is the gold bars. Gold bars here you're going to pick up for under $100 per ounce premium. We have them for under uh, $85 bucks and less on one ounce gold bars in small quantities. Larger quantities you can get them for even less money. Next best deal is going to be Krugerrands here. Uh, I'm not quite sure about Australian Nuggets. I think they're probably priced like Maple Leafs and other things. Uh, however, the highest priced product in here, which I don't see right now, is Gold Eagles. I would not recommend buying Gold Eagles, Gold Buffaloes, or any products that are going to cost you over $100 per ounce premium right now. I just don't recommend it, especially since you can buy bars. It's the same thing. It's just a different form made by a different company. 
Um, same thing with silver as well. Uh, best deals out there are uh, silver bars, 100 ounce bars, 10 ounce bars, 1 ounce bars when you can find them. Uh, way better than the price of uh, silver eagles, which you see here in this picture. Uh, silver eagles are the worst deal out there, you know, and I hate to say that. I love the silver eagles. It's a great, beautiful, pretty product made in America, and I'm all about buying local. However, the premiums are just insane, folks. Not worth it. Um, uh, especially, you know, you shouldn't be paying uh, 9 10 12 13 dollars over spot for silver. It's just too much. Especially, again, when you can buy 1 ounce, 10 ounce silver bars uh, and some other uh, products out there for uh, 5 or less. Uh, even maple leaves at uh, $6.75 an ounce uh, are a better deal than, uh, and that ain't saying much. I think maple leaves are overpriced as well. Uh, so my suggestion, uh, anything that you can buy that's real, uh, recognizable product, uh, and that you can pay less than a $5 premium for per ounce on silver, you're doing good. That's the best deal that I can tell you to buy. And as far as gold, uh, same thing. Anything that you can pay less than a $100 premium on, uh, and even you know the, the less the better uh, on a recognizable product, uh, the better off you are. And uh, that does not include gold eagles, unfortunately, or gold maples, sorry to say. Um, again, stick with the bars in my opinion. Uh, there's no good reason to buy those overpriced or overpriced premiums. That's my opinion. And as I always say, buy local if you can. Um, I advertise to beat Atmex, JM Bullion, SD Bullion. I can't advertise to beat every online seller out there, but I do advertise to beat the big three guys uh, who are reputable companies. Uh, no less, uh, my recommendation to you and of course to my local customers is buy local, spend it here, keep it here. Buy from your local coin store. If he's not in your city, take a drive out to the county. If he's not in the county, take an hour drive, keep the freaking money in the state at least. Find yourself a good local dealer. And you know what? I don't say stop at one. Find yourself a good lo couple local dealers. What happens if one uh, gets a meteorite lens on a store? He's not there anymore or something happens to him medically or he just retires. Uh, you need to have a couple sources because the thing is, even even if you're buying online, you're going to need to sell this stuff to someday, and you are not going to want to ship this stuff to these online buyers, these online uh, 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 bullion guys. It's just there's not safety in that. Uh, you got insurance issues, you got shipping issues, uh, and I'd be very nervous about shipping my metal to someone without having at least walking out with a check in my hand, some kind of documentation. Uh, but no less, develop a good relationship with your local dealer. Buy local uh, and keep your money in town. That includes jewelry, tires, and as I've been talking about, precious metals and coins. Well, that's it. This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Wear Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Lauderdale by the Sea. Call me anytime at 954-493-8811. Happy to help you out. And as I said, folks, sorry I'm a local dealer only. If you don't live in South Florida, I can't really deal with you. We don't ship. We don't do anything on the phone. Uh, we're just a local brick and mortar store. Uh, thanks for watching again. Have yourself a great day, and uh, let's see what happens tomorrow. Talk to you, talk to you soon. Bye.